equal treatment. Citizens are guaranteed that under the law. But what about those who risk their lives keeping us safe? Well, this next story started when someone contacted our Michael Wooten to complain about an unfair practice in Buffalo. And he investigated their concerns in this Two on Your Side original report. Look around at any fire scene in Buffalo or stop by any firehouse in the city and you'll quickly notice it's a male dominated industry, but that's been changing over the decades. Women first joined the ranks in the 80s after an order from a federal judge. One of those who sued Margaret Kane rose up the ranks to become the department's first female deputy commissioner. Today, there are several dozen women who battle Buffalo's fires. We've had a lot of new hires, so you're seeing that there's a lot of new females on the job. There's been a concerted effort to recruit more women. So it may surprise you what hasn't changed over the years. Firehouses that still don't have facilities for females. I think it's just kind of a Gert and Barrett. A common council resolution from 2015 said of the 20 firehouses, 14 were unequipped providing female firefighters with inadequate makeshift facilities. The resolution said that shows a complete lack of respect and appreciation for these brave women who risk their lives protecting our residents. We spoke off camera with three female Buffalo firefighters, one retired, two of them active duty, and they all said the same thing. Some firehouses like here at Elmwood in Virginia are great. They have separate facilities for men and women. But the women we spoke with aren't demanding that. They don't want anything special, just properly equipped facilities. I think the city's kind of playing a dangerous game because some of the facilities are rather lacking. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, is that when you come back from a fire, you want to be able to comfortably go and, you know, take a shower and wash yourself off and get all the, you know, carcin engines off your body. Since that 2015 council resolution, the city paid to retrofit engine 28 on Lovejoy. It now has gender neutral bathrooms and locker rooms upstairs. Union President Vincent Ventresca says similar work is happening or will happen at engine 22 on Broadway and engine 35 ladder 15 on Clinton. Both were built more than 100 years ago and are in need of upgrades. You give credit to the city now to be taking this on? Yeah, I Absolutely. They're doing work on firehouses and it's a good thing. But there is work left to do. We're told engine 25, ladder 10 in South Buffalo and engine 19 on Forest are two of the worst. Women say sometimes they have to lock off entire sections of the buildings just to use the bathroom. Sources say most women don't want to bid for overtime if it means having to work out of those firehouses. It does seem just from a, a fairness perspective that female firefighters should have adequate facilities. Agreed. This isn't just a problem here. The International Association of Women in Fire and Emergency Services says it's an institutional barrier. Fire stations built to accommodate only one sex in sleeping, bathing, restroom, and changing facilities. I didn't know what I was missing until I had it. Rochelle Jones knows the significance of this issue. For her first 11 years on the job with the FDNY, she didn't have female facilities. What a difference when her firehouse got retrofitted. It took a lot of stress off of me, never having to find out where everyone was before I wanted to use the bathroom. I'm not having to wait any longer to take a shower. Rochelle is now retired and is president of the Fire Service Women of New York State. She told me she thinks Buffalo should follow the lead of her old employer. That's because New York City made female facilities a priority, spending $77 million over 14 years to complete renovations at almost 100 different firehouses. Now every single female firefighter in the Big Apple has access to proper bathrooms and locker rooms. Really, having a bathroom and a facility um, for you to use is just equal treatment. The question, how long until Buffalo guarantees that equal treatment for every firefighter? The goal is to have every firehouse be retrofitted so that there can be some type of female facility, either separate or neutral. That could just take a long time to accomplish. Absolutely. So that's why it's good to get, get the ball rolling and head in the right direction. And Michael joins us now. So let me ask you, what was the city's response to this? Well, Buffalo has a new person in charge at the fire department. I spoke today on the phone with Commissioner Vincent Muscarella, who rose up the ranks. He is well respected. He disputed some of those numbers in that council resolution. He says there aren't quite so many that need to be retrofitted, but he admitted some of the firehouses still need significant work. 
He says after the current round of rehab is finished, they're going to tackle engines 19 and 26. And Mary Alice, he said he takes this very seriously, and he believes that every firehouse must have proper facilities for everyone who works there, including the females. And he's offered to give you more specifics and give you a tour of the firehouses soon? Yeah, he said he wants to be completely transparent about all of this. He's been out of the office, so we didn't get a chance to talk to him in person for this story today, but we are going to do a follow-up report. Look, they have a few dozen female firefighters right now, almost 10% of the current recruits are female. So he knows this is an issue. It's not going away. Right. To be honest, it's been ignored for a long time, dating back decades, and he seems like he really wants to tackle it. That's good. Now is a good time. Absolutely. All right. No well, time like the present. Look forward to that update. Thank you, Michael. You bet. Scott.